Gregory the Terrible Eater by Mitchell Charmat, illustrated by Jose Arigo and Ariane Du. Once there was a goat named Gregory. Gregory liked to jump from rock to rock, kick his legs in the air, and butt his head against walls. I'm an average goat, said Gregory. But Gregory was not an average goat. Gregory was a terrible eater. Every time he sat down to eat with his mother and father, he knew he was in for some trouble. Would you like a tin can, Gregory? Asked the mother goat. No thanks, said Gregory. How about a nice box? A piece of rug and a bottle cap? Asked yeah. father goat. Bah, said Gregory unhappily. Okay. Well, I think this is a meal fit for a goat, said mother goat as she chewed an old shoe. It certainly is, said father goat as he ate a shirt, buttons and all. I don't know why you're such a fussy eater, Gregory. I'm not fussy, said Gregory. I just want fruits, vegetables, eggs, fish, bread and butter, stuff like that. Mother goat stopped eating her shoe. Now what kind of food is that, Gregory? It's what I like, said Gregory. It's revolting, said Father Goat. He wiped his mouth with a napkin. Want to hear his voice that? After Gregory was excused from the table, Father Goat said, Gregory is such a terrible eater. I wonder what's wrong with him, said Mother Goat. Father and Mother Goat ate their evening newspaper in silence. morning father mother and father goat were enjoying a pair of pants and coat for breakfast Gregory came to the table good morning Gregory said father and mother goat good morning said Gregory may I have some orange juice cereal and bananas for breakfast oh no mother goat said do have this very nice coat take a bite of these pants said father goat but ha said Gregory and he left the table father threw down his napkin that is it he said Gregory isn't eating right we must take him to the doctor father and mother goat took Gregory to the doctor dr. Ram was munching on a few pieces of cardboard seems to be the trouble, he asked. Gregory is a terrible eater, said Mother Goat. We've offered him the best shoes, boxes, magazines, tin cans, coats, pants, but all he wants is fruit, vegetables, eggs, fish, orange juice, and other horrible things. What do you got to say about this, Gregory, asked Dr. Ram. I like what I like, said Gregory. Makes sense, said Dr. Ram. He looked at Mother and Father Goat. I've treated picky eaters before. And they have to develop a taste for good food slowly. Try giving Gregory one new food a day until he eats everything. That night for dinner, Mother Goat gave Gregory spaghetti and a shoelace in tomato sauce. Not too bad, said Gregory. The next day, she gave him string beans and a rubber heel to cut into pieces. That meal was good and rubbery, said Gregory. The day after, Mother Goat said, we have your favorite soup, vegetable soup. But one condition, you must eat the can, too. Okay, what's for dessert? Ice cream, said Father Goat, but you must eat the box, too. Yummy, said Gregory. I'm proud of you, said Father Goat. You're beginning to eat like a goat. I'm learning to like everything, said Gregory. One evening, Father Goat asked, Has anybody seen my striped necktie? Not since breakfast, said Mother Goat. Come to think of it, I haven't seen my sewing basket today either. I left it in the living room after supper. Father Goat turned to Gregory. Gregory, have you been eating between meals? Yes, said Gregory. I can't help it now. I like everything. Well, said Mother Goat, It's all right to eat like a goat, but you shouldn't eat like a pig. Oh, said Gregory. 
After Gray and we went to bed, Mother goes said, I'm afraid Gag Gregory will eat my clothes hamper. Yes, and then my toolkit next, said Father Goat. He's eating too much. We gotta do something about it. Next evening, just before supper, Mother and Father Goat went to the town dump. They brought home eight flat tires, a three-foot piece of barber pole, a broken violin, half a car. They piled everything in front of Gregory's sandbox. And Gregory came home for supper. He said, what's all this stuff? Here's supper, said Father Goat. It all looks good, said Gregory. Gregory ate the tires, the violin. He slowly ate the barber pole. Then he started in the car. He goes, I got a tummy ache. I got to lay down. Gregory went to his room. I think Gregory ate too much junk, said Father Goat. Let's hope so, said Mother Goat. All night, Gregory tossed and turned and moaned and groaned. The next morning, he went down to breakfast. What would you like to breakfast today, Gregory, asked Father Goat. Scrambled eggs, two pieces of wax paper, and a glass of orange juice. That sounds about right, said Mother Goat. And it was the end. What did you think about that book? Did you notice something about what Gregory ate? He ate garbage pretty much, right? Because goats, they eat weird stuff. I've been told that goats will eat stuff like that. I don't know if they live off of it, but they do eat stuff like that. But Gregory liked, what kind of food did Gregory like? He liked healthy food, healthy food that we eat. What was your favorite part of the book? Well, I hope you enjoyed the book. Thanks for reading with me. Bye.